All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino, and we are back in action, together at last. So yeah, it is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. Here's what's going on. Right now, stocks are set for a lower open, about 300 points lower. Now, if you have seen the last couple of videos I've done over the last few days, I told you. This market needs a pullback. I would welcome it. Uh, I said this just yesterday. This market has gone straight up. It's not natural. The market needs to pull back a little bit, maybe profit taking, whatever it might be, down. And then that sets us up for another move higher. In this fake market, that's where we're going, okay? So this pullback today, let's hope it plays out today, maybe through tomorrow. Um, is bullish, in my opinion. I mean, there are trillions, trillions of dollars being thrown at this market by the Federal Reserve. Every effort imaginable that you can think about, dream about, or whatever, is going to be put in to prop this market up. It's a distraction. Forget the economy. Forget the tens of millions of people out of work. Forget what the Fed is actually doing we all know this is a takeover on an epic scale uh it doesn't matter to people as long as that stock market is moving up so again uh, i think a pullback here in this market is a godsend and it's only a setup to move stocks higher look at the 10-year yield yeah it came down a little bit we're 0.82 that as well has gone parabolic we're now pulling back this is a setup for stocks to move up. Let's talk about a few other assets here. Cryptocurrencies are being bid higher slightly. Gold and silver are cashing a bid slightly as well. Crude oil is down a fraction. That's another setup for a move higher as well. This whole thing, people, is a game. It's a charade. Uh, we know what's going to happen before it does and we're not going to lose. There is no way we're going to It's too easy. Let me, let me explain this to you. Those that be that are engineering this entire thing, the Federal Reserve, the White House, the OPEC, the military industrial complex, we know their plan that makes our life easy. It makes it simple for us to be on the right side of this. This is really a mathematical equation in many ways. And we just got to figure out what's going on. It's a language. This, this whole thing is a language. The market is going to get propped up here. It would take nothing short of divine intervention, like I said recently, to make the stock market drop uh, you know, go back to the lows that we had recently. It's not going to happen with the Fed in full control. You understand? Uh, and that's it. Lower rates are going to stay, the, they're going to maintain lower rates and negative rates uh, forever. This is the new normal. You know, all those commercials that you're seeing, you know, the new normal. This is the new normal. This is a global takeover, a new world order. They're coming after your liberties. They're coming after your freedoms. Why? Because those that dictate the rules, and you know who they are, these are the banks, the central banks, the Wall Street banks. Once, once they finish uh, their grand plan, their grand solution, well, guess what? They can do whatever they want to. They got these politicians in their back pockets. It's all bought and paid for. It's corruption to the highest level. The divide and conquer mechanism has already played out. Why do you think they have a divider in chief here? Oh, the last two guys, all right, in the White House, especially the last two guys, Barack Obama and President Trump. These two people were chosen, chosen. Even President Trump said he's chosen one, all right? He's one of the two chosen one to finish the Federal Reserve's 100-year plan to be the lender, buyer of last resort, to finish their final solution, create this two-tier society that is in our face, wipe out the middle class, uh, it's, it's here. This is it. So just wake up uh, to the situation here. And, and um, look, 
I know if you follow this blog, you're in the right spots. You should have been hoarding gold and silver for a very long time, more specifically silver here. Bet against this monster. And you do that by holding a hard asset, something I've been saying since day one, over a freaking decade now. Cryptocurrencies are where you need to be. You got it. Uh, with regard to this market, let's see what this pullback brings, all right? Uh, if you're a subscriber to my newsletter, there is a link in the description of this video. I will be looking for new targets today. Uh, and we'll see if we add to our, our current positions. Um, let's see. Let's see how it plays out today. So if you are a subscriber to my newsletter, don't be shocked at all if you see one or two, who, who knows what. Um, new positions in your email box. All right, with that said, let's watch this. Let's see where this goes today over the next several days. I would love just one more time to see this market bleed off today, maybe even bleed off into tomorrow. Um, will I get my wish? I don't know, but we're starting to see it now. At least the market's gonna open lower. I would be disappointed if this market does not uh, close lower today. I'm gonna be honest with you. You gotta look for these types of movements. The trajectory is higher, okay? But we need to take advantage of this random walk with an upward drift. That's how we destroy the market. You understand? That's it, very simple. This guy loves you. Please share the video. See you later.